Um, on March 16, 1966, in Anaheim, California, brothers Paul Van Dorn and James Van Dorn opened the first van uh, store. Um, the van summer 98 was introduced with the help of skateboarders and BMX riders, um, and the classic Saban vans became all the rage in Southern California. Um, the jazz strip that like you see on the vans, it first started out as like a random doodle by Paul Van Dorn, and now it's become like a trademark, like like everyone knows. Um, the first time the classic slip on vans gained international attention and appeal was on the film Fast Times at Ridgemont High when it was worn by Sean Penn. Our current target audience are both, um, our, the vans current target audience are both male and female and trendy teens. Um, teens who are like into music, street culture, art, action, and sports. But like the target audience really is like anyone who's a kid, teen, or young adult. Um, because they're designed to be like casual, stylish, and comfortable, they come in like a variety of styles, colors, and patterns, um, which fits almost everyone's lifestyle and fashion taste, when, like, which expands their target audience. And um, the ages are like between 11 and 18. The current tagline is off the wall. And it was debuted in 1976. Most people, including myself, at first think the tagline is referencing to how in the store, when you buy vans, you literally buy the shoes off the wall. Instead, this tagline is related to skaters from the mid-70s who make tricks off the wall of empty pools. There's ethos being used when talked about real skaters. And pathos is used and creates more free and open vibe allowing for self-expression and letting others showcase their creativity through shoes. So this is a dance ad we found. So we stop doing one on one. Things I love about skating it is the creativity and how you can look so different from anyone else. Style matters and the way you do it is just as important as doing the trick in the first place. I have my style of skating, my style of tricks. I don't know if it's better or worse off anyone, that's just my way. Um, so, in the part of the ad we watched, there are many different skaters skating in either Vans shoes or other Vans apparel. And this is an example of ethos for Vans because it gives Vans a lot of credibility by showing the target audience, which is trendy teens wearing Vans apparel. And the music in the background appeals to the target audience because it's very upbeat and goes and is on the faster side, which is what teens like to listen to nowadays. And in the rest of the ad, which we are unable to watch because it would be too long, it's it shows other kids in many other places skating and doing their own thing. And this is an example of ethos because, oh, in other countries, and this is an example of ethos because it gives, it shows fans being used and enjoyed in other countries. And then this is a Vans print ad, and the ad says, you will love them to pieces, which appeals to pathos because it implies that people who wear slip-on Vans will love them so much that they won't want to get rid of them until they're com it's completely necessary because the shoes have just fallen apart. And this ad has also has a very informal font that is on a slight tilt, which makes the words look handwritten and messy. And the messy handwriting implies that it was written quickly. This makes it look more informal and inviting. While if there were like words that were bold and strict and on a straight line, it would look more professional, which doesn't appeal to the target audience. And this logo, this print ad also has ethos because the Vans logo is seen three times in the ad. The logo is seen in the top left corner of the ad and in both of the shoes. The Vans logo is found in most of the shoes or on the side of the shoes that the Vans create. And the R, which stands for restricted use, is next to all of the Vans logos in this print ad. And this gives a lot of credibility to this ad and the Vans company because it means that no one but the official Vans company can use this logo. 
So this is the current band's logo, and then it's using um, black as the font because black is like a neutral and basic color, which appeals to all different types of people, which is like, and it mainly appeals to skaters, and skaters are like both genders and all types of people. And then it's bulky because skateboarding is a bold Italian sport and it can be hard to do, which bands appeals to. And then the big line on top of the bands is referring to like what Grace said when they go like off the wall because the skaters are like riding up and down the walls. And then introducing the band, Slip by the Chaos. So this is a, um, the new logo that we created. And then the letters are also black, so it appeals to both parents, since our new target audience is parents ages 25 to 45. And then all the way to the left, we have a slip-on band because that's a product we are showcasing. And then in the middle, the font is like lowercase and seems rushed because slip-on bands are really quick to put on and they're easy on the go. And then on the right, we have like the little lines, which implicate speed since they are quick. And then the whole like logo looks like an arrow, which also shows how they're quick and easy to put on. And then the background is like a rainbow assortment of colors, so it appeals to everyone. Um, the tagline we said was slip by the chaos. This tagline is meant to show that using bands makes everything easier and less stressful, even when there's a lot going, ar lot going on around you. There's no logos or ethos, but we use wait, no logos or pathos. Oh, no logos or ethos, but we use pathos to make a buyer want to feel like bands helps calm you down and create less worry when trying to leave on time so nothing is chaotic. Our target audience, we directed the target audience to be young, busy adults who have a lot on their plate and not a lot of time to do everything. We chose adults ages 25 to 45 because they're usually young parents who work and have to support their family and are new to having kids and have many places to take their kids so they don't need to waste time by having to worry about tying shoes. Instead, they can quickly slip on their bands and head out the door without the worry of other shoes taking too much time. This is our print that. Um, the left side shows a messy background, and in the front, there are Nike shoes knotted together in a darker setting than the right side. We did this to show it's harder and more stressful. The background, the background shows they didn't have any time to clean up because they had to wait to tie their shoes. On the bottom, it says not again, because shoes get knotted all the time, but that isn't possible with the fun band, so you don't have to worry. The right side shows a more clean environment and a brighter and happier vibe than the left side. Her slip-on bands are clean and neat, and this is an overall better environment. In the right side of the ad, it uses ethos showing, ethos, showing we are using credibility by comparing our bands as well to a well-known brand known as Nike. Nike is shown, wait, which is shown from, which is shown to be worse than Vans, so clients can choose Vans over this well-known brand. Pathos is used in this ad to the point, the point is to show an audience that we are, that Vans, the slip arm Vans are less stressful and they will be an overall happier and more enjoyable and enjoyable after buying slip on Vans. So for our social media, we decided to do an Instagram. So, so our first post was of our original logo, and that's how it first looked like, but then like it evolved and changed, and then we already talked about that. So the second post is a picture of bands that a parent would wear, and it's surrounded by little children's bands. And this uses pathos because this is, appeals to the um, main buyer, since they'll feel like heartwarmed since they see like all these little children's bands and feel persuaded to buy it. So then our third and fourth posts were both about the print head, which I talked about. And then our fifth post is a picture of Gwen Stefani and her child, and Gwen is wearing slip-on bands. And this uses ethos because um, a famous celebrity that is known to our target audience is portrayed in the photo, which like ensures credibility and the buyers won't be like hesitant to buy the product. So this is our
Okay, so in our commercial, we were trying to persuade the audience that vans are faster and good for when you are in a rush. This is shown in the advertisement because a mom shown only has one minute to get all of her chores done before she has to go. And in the end, tie shoes are too, or are too tedious and not nearly as convenient as being able to slip on the vans and run out the door. What's being implied is that the tie shoes take up too much time and effort for busy people and slip on vans are much more beneficial for a constantly on the go person. The ad uses pathos through the choice of background music or noise. We chose the ticking clock from when the timer appears because it causes the viewer to, and it creates more stress in people because they feel like time is running out. The music we chose for when the mom is cleaning invokes more negative and unhappy feelings. And we also chose a black and white color scheme to reinforce that. When the mom puts on the, when the mom puts on the vans, more cheerful music plays, causing a relief in the tension in the viewer. It is effective for the target audience because they don't have to plan on leaving, even slightly earlier because they know they have to tie their shoes. But they can work until the very last minute until the time runs out and then run out the door. The ad uses ethos because considering that it is coming from a real mom in a situation that lots of parents are in is credible because the mom shows that it's easy and efficient to wear vans. It also gives them a better reputation. The ad uses logos because it compares the tie shoes to how quick and easy the slip-on vans are. We also included our logo at the end, which has already been cut. Okay. So in conclusion, wearing slip-on vans makes life easier and not another thing that parents would have to worry about in their already busy week. So no need to get your laces into a knot by slip-on vans. Thank you for watching our pitch presentation on slip-on vans.